Hello everyone. In this particular video, I am going to talk about uh, something related to astrology. Normally, I don't uh, post videos in English uh, related to astrology. However, this was requested by some of my followers, fans to post this particular topic which I already did in Tamil, my regional language, to post it in English so that it will benefit a lot of people. And that's the main reason I'm posting this today in English. Before we proceed, this video is related to astrology and people who have believed in previous birth. So if you are a person who is not interested to know about all this, then you don't have to watch this video anymore. I recently posted a video titled Can we know our Purva Karma, previous birth sin, through horoscope? About our previous birth. And uh, how to get the information like what sort of sin you have done, how you died and also because of that sin, how your this birth is being impacted. And because it's in regional language, Tamil, people wanted me to post this in English. And now I'm coming to the point. We all know that though we have seen so many astrologers, though we have gone to so many people, we have done so many remedies, parigaras, so many temples, still there are some problems which are unsolved. Isn't it? What is the cause? In one line, people may say that because of your Purva Karma, because of the sin which you have done in the past birth. Obviously, we are not so clever to fine-tune our brain to go get the information, recollect and find out what sort of bad thing we have done and how to escape from it. We don't know that. Does astrology help in this? And the answer is yes. I'm going to explain that now. We all know when we write the horoscope, people normally write the D1 chart, which is the planetary positions at the time of our birth. And astrologers also write the D9 chart, which is called Navamsa, which talks purely about our spouse, our husband or our wife, what sort of characteristics they will have, and what sort of dress, first time when we meet, what sort of dress they will be wearing. Is what sort of loca location they will be, like will there be a temple or will there be a river next to their house and also what direction they are, do they have siblings etc. These sort of information we can get from the D9 chart which is the Navamsa the whole world is following. But 
that is not the only amsa chart in horoscope there are so many other amsas for example d1 is a complete overview in a brief way brief means very short a lot of people doesn't know that they think that brief means elaborated brief means very short crisp so in your d1 chart the seventh place talks about the marriage talks about the spouse but that seventh house explained in a very detailed way zoom that is d9 chart now i'm sir same way the fifth house talks about our kids and our purva karma and the detailed information about our purva karma can be obtained by a chart called d60 chart sastiyam sa the second house from d1 talks about your money finance in a brief way whereas in a detailed way it is called ahura chart tenth house from your d1 chart ascend talks about just a brief information about your job or business whereas the detailed information of the 10th house chart is called dasamsa so like this there are so many amsas panja virim samsa is there virim samsa is there but lot of astrologers don't focus on this they focus only on the d1 and the d9 you all know that people who are following me for a long time they know that i am bit different i wanted to focus on things which will really help people which will really help to solve their issues so my expertise was in d60 chart talking about the previous karma and when we work out the d60 the planetary positions falls in different places and based on that we can work out get the core essence of what the sign was and astrologers not just their knowledge will help they should get the blessings from the divine also they need without the divine's blessings they can't get the exact essence message from the horoscope from the d60 especially and this video i am posting this is i am posting in english after i have been to vailur just back from vailur murugan temple the maximum time if i get a free time i prefer to be in a temple i prefer to talk to god for a lot of other people your issues the more and more i care for you the more and more divine cares for me i can see that i can i can feel that so i was thinking that how can this knowledge on d60 can help people to solve their unsolved issues and that's why i am posting this video i i will even justify certain things for example sometimes birth marks or sometimes a dreams which keeps coming to you and sometimes i can pinpoint and say that there is definitely in your ancestry there is one suicide and definitely there is a water accident which killed one life 
And I can even tell by God's grace that there is someone mentally retarded in your family, in the ancestry line. So, this sort of information I can capture from the D60 and connect it with the D1 and will establish that connection. For example, if you have done a bad karmic deed to a woman in your previous birth and if you got a curse from the woman in your horoscope, in the ascent itself, Shukra will be the Venus. And if you have talked without respect to your parents and if they have cursed means, normally parents doesn't curse, but in some cases there is a curse from parents also. If that was the cause, then this birth, Kedu will be in the second house from your ascent. Tongue, which means you will have stammering problem or you will not talk for some time. So, that connection also, by God's grace, I can establish. So, if you are interested to know about your previous karma, because you may have some problems which are unsolved for so many years and the answer others will say is because of your bad karma let us see what that bad karma by divine's, divine's grace is and let us see whether we can fix it by ourselves so if you are interested send me an email my email id is m-u-r-u-g-a-b-h-a-k-t-a-n at gmail.com murugabhaktan at gmail.com Let us see whether we can fix our own problems rather than just blaming it on other things. That's all I wanted to say in this particular video. Please do take care.